My favorite onstage moment involves another one of my young colleagues, Ben Levy, who one time when I had burned the candle at both ends to such an extent there was no candle left, I was beginning to tip this way. And Ben took his bow and he poked me here on my right, my right arm and pushed me back. And we'll never know to this day whether I would have gone, gone the whole way or not. I don't want to know, I don't want to think about it, but the fact is I owe Ben to my, to my dying breath for saving me from myself. The mature answer is yes, I would love my, my finely cut vegetables with, with, a, with a mild yogurt dip washed down by a cold pressed juice. But if I've had a concert, a rehearsal and lessons and I'm home and I want a beer, I want something that crunches and I have no shame. I love the first movement of Beethoven's Eroica Symphony, the first movement of Mozart's G minor symphony, the, the uh, number 40. I love Bach, Bach Magnificat, the Stravinsky Symphony of Psalms, the Rite of Spring, the Bartok Concerto for Orchestra. Those are some of my favorites. I get goosebumps just thinking of them. I enjoy documentaries, but at the same time, basically, I sit down with my wife who loves her craggy British dramas and I watch them with her. I listen to NPR quite often, mainly because uh, music when executed correctly, requires that you make time stand still, which means when you're through making time stand still, you want to find out what happened in the world. And so I simply listen to NPR for information, for commentary, for guidance.